So continuing with our next topic on the SAP automation uh, with the Trascentis Tosca, we are going to look at how we can traverse to a different paths using the SAP tree view module. Now, what do I mean by the tree view, right? So instead of uh, entering the transaction code and going directly into a particular screen, maybe you have to also verify the tree view, right? So the tree view is this different folder structures, which you can see here, uh, which contains the main folder, which is the SAP menu. And then there are a couple of uh, subfolders, right? Which has got different items here. So if we have to verify that the tree view exists and we have to traverse a path uh, from this particular tree view, then we have to use this tree view uh, module, which is part of uh, the SAP X engine, right? So let's look at a particular example here. If I have to open the SAP menu and then I need to open the human resources here. And then under human resources, I need to go into payroll and go into Asia Pacific and then into India. And then I need to go into payroll accounting. Okay, so this is the path which I need to traverse. As you can see, there are so many different folders here and traversing could be complex. Right, but this has been simplified with the help of the standard module, which is already provided by Tosca. So uh, let's go ahead and let's automate this. So let's come back to our SAP GUI folder. Let's create a test case here. And we are going to call this open HR payroll. And then uh, here we are going to go into the SAP uh, folder which is part of the standard modules. And then we go to look for the SAP tree view. Okay, so we'll add this here. This contains two module attributes. One is menu path and one is talk tree menu. We'll be talking about the menu path. Okay, and I'm going to show you um, two ways of how you can traverse this complex path. So let's look at the first way where we will directly mention the path which we want to traverse in the tree view, okay? So the path here is, uh, it starts from SAP menu, then human resources, and then payroll, then Asia Pacific, and then India, and then payroll accounting, okay? So this is the whole uh, tree view. Let me uh, keep it here so that I can see this while entering. So we will start with SAP menu. And then we need to use a uh, arrow mark so that uh, we can mention the next uh, folder in right here. Okay. So the next is human resources. And the next is payroll. Okay, and then Asia Pacific. Now, instead of typing the whole uh, folder name, you can also type part of it uh, using the regular expression. Okay, So if I want to just mention Asia here, and then I can put a asterisk, which is a regular expression, which will cover the remaining part of the folder name. Okay, and then inside this we will have India and then payroll accounting. So I will mention here India and then payroll. And then I will again use a regular expression here. But whenever you are trying to use a regular expression, make sure that it is unique uh, in that particular tree view. Otherwise, if you have got two folders with payroll, then uh, it will not work, okay? Now uh, let's go back here into our SAP GUI application and let me go ahead and close all these folders or collapse them so that uh, now we can see how Tosca will uh, traverse through this whole path, okay? Let me go back here and go back to our test case and I will mark it as completed. And now uh, let's go ahead and run this. Okay, um, as you can see, Tosca was successfully able to traverse the whole path.
right? So it opened all the subfolders which we have mentioned in that path and it opened payroll accounting finally where we have got all the different uh, items related to payroll accounting. So this was the first way of doing this. Now let me show you another way uh, how you can use this particular module, right? So uh, if you don't want to enter uh, this whole path right here, what you can do is you can use the tree menu entry, okay? So here I can mention human resources as the next item. And then I can mention payroll. And then I am going to mention Asia. And then we'll just remove the whole path here and we'll just keep SAP menu, which is the main folder here. So that will uh, mention it in the menu path. And then we will use uh, all these attributes, which is the tree menu entry to enter all the subsequent uh, menu entries right here. So it will traverse this uh, path in this particular order, which you have mentioned here, okay? So let's now collapse all these folders again so that we can see the output right here. And then I'm going to run this. It will do the exact same thing, but it is another way of performing the same action, okay? So as you can see, again, uh, it went into payroll accounting. So it covers the whole uh, tree view menu. Right, um, so these are the two different ways you can use the SAP tree view standard module in order to go through the complete menu path in the SAP tree view. That's all for this particular video. If you have any questions, then please leave it in the comments. If you like this video, then please subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.